Alright, today I'm going to be showing you this um, great new application called Theme Builder. And what it is, it will allow you to create your own summer board themes right in your uh, iPod Touch or iPhone. Um, first thing is uh, make sure you know how to SSH into your iPod. Uh, you will need this later to uh, transfer in some uh, different icons and wallpapers. Um, if you don't know how, I'll, um, I will be putting a uh, link in the about section of this video on how to set up uh, WinSCP so you can SSH into your iPod. Um, first thing is if um, you don't already have my uh, repo installed, you want to go ahead and do that first. Uh, what you'll do is you'll click, I um, already, got, already got it installed, but what you'll do is hit click edit, add, and then what you want to type in is uh, repo, R-E-P-O, dot iPod touched, dot net. And then you click OK. And then after that, um, it'll refresh and it'll show up down here at the bottom. Or somewhere in the middle, just depending on how many uh, sources you have. Um, but if it says uh, uncategorized, what you want to do is um, click the refresh button. And uh, just make sure that it's spelled right as well. What you want to do is click install, go to the, uh, the iPod Touch folder. First thing you want to install is Steam Builder. Click install. Uh, this program was made by the same guy who brought you the uh, MX uh, Tube application. After the Theme Builder is installed, I'm going to go back down to iPod Touched. And now you want to install TB Demo Image Pack. And in this um, Theme Builder Image Pack, it will have a bunch of uh, different icons and uh, wallpapers, and, um, different items you'll need to uh, create your theme. Um, you can SSH into your uh, iPod or iPhone and add additional icons and wallpapers that you like. Um, I'll be showing you that a little later in this video, but I would, uh, I would suggest just installing this first, just so you have a couple icons and stuff to get started with. Um, it's 3.3 megabyte file, so it'll take a little bit to download. Um, I have a slow internet, so it'll probably go fast for you. Um, so after it finishes installing, clean up and then We'll go ahead and hit the uh, home button. And now you should have, oops, it'll respring and you gotta unlock it. Now you'll have the uh, little icon called Theme Builder, has a little hammer on it. What you'll do is uh, click on that to open it up. And then if you uh, click on uh, Builder, then we're gonna go into a new theme. And you wanna just name your new theme that you wanna create. Um, I'm just going to call this one mine. Then click OK. You can name whatever you want. Now in this part, we'll go into the uh, wallpaper. As you can see, there's the uh, demo image pack that we had installed. And here's the different uh, wallpapers that are in there. So just select one that you like. And then you go down to uh, Dock. There's only one in here to select from, but you can, like I said earlier, you can add more. Um, there's no status bar in this demo pack, but um, it'll just use the default one that that's on your uh, server board. And now we'll go down to icons. Now in here you can uh, see there's tons of different icons you can select from. Um, we'll do uh, just a couple to show you how this works. Do calendar, click the demo app. So as you can see, these are all the demo icons that you just installed. There's a pretty good selection. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and select something for our uh, calendar. We'll select this one. And then uh, I'll do one more just to show you. I'll do Safari. And we'll scroll down and find a Safari icon. I'll do that one. Okay, you can do as many as you want or as little as you'd like. Um, click back. And now at this point, you just click close. And you want to make sure and click save. 
So now we hit the home button, go back to our uh, springboard. If you go into a uh, summer board, themes, now you'll be able to select the uh, theme you just created. So you can see there's mine. So I'll, whoops, selected the wrong one. Select mine. Now I'll click uh, the home button to respring. Slide down lock. You can see there's the uh, wallpaper I selected along with the two icons that I had selected. Now if you want to import some of your own icons or what wallpapers if, that you've either created or that you like that you've installed uh, through installer for your summer board, what I do is just um, SSH into your uh, iPod. Now the default location for uh, theme builder is uh, if you're in 1.1.3 or 1.1.4 it'll be in a VAR slash mobile slash library slash theme builder and if you're in a firmware version 1.2 and under it'll be a VAR slash root slash library um, slash theme builder. So what I'm going to do is go in and uh, just uh, use some of the themes that, I've, that are installed in a summer board and I believe the summer board themes are located in let me see it'll be uh, VAR I'm on 1.1.4 so it'll be mobile library and then uh, summer board and then themes I only have the default ones installed um, but as you can see there's the one um, labeled mine it's the one that we just created so what I'm going to do is just uh, drag one or two of these over to my uh, hard drive and then uh, select copy when you're dragging these over let's see I'll do panther make sure you're not dragging them into a folder um, and if you do just pay attention to what folder you drag it into so you can find it in a second um, copy that over just don't make sure you or if you do copy it to a folder so make sure you know which one you copied it to so you can find it so now I'm going to go back over here, go up one, two, go into Theme Builder. As you can see there's the uh, Doc folder, Icon folder, Status Bar folder, and the uh, Wallpaper folder. So if I double click on Icon, you can see there's a folder called uh, Demo Image Pack. So if I go over here, and let's see, Louie, if I transfer over this Icon folder, over here, click copy. Should be able to select all those icons now on uh, Theme Builder. So we'll go back in, do Theme Builder, click on the Builder, we'll go to Edit Existing Theme. As you can see, there's mine. Click on that. Now, if we go down to Icons, Let's say we want to change this calendar icon, click on that. So you can see there's that new icon folder that we just added. And let's say we want to use this icon instead for a calendar. Click mine, now we'll click close. Click save. Make sure you save your uh, changes. Click the home button. Now if we go back into a summer board scroll down and click a restart springboard I should have that new icon we just saved and there it is you can see it's a the different uh, icon but uh, uh, one thing I would do want to make a note of uh, you should rename this icon folder to the name of the theme um, so just right click rename this one was I believe was Louie so we'll rename it uh, Louie so that way when you go into the icons of Theme Builder you won't have you can have the different folders with the different icons to select from.